the thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! <sighs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! Mercy, go! Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Then you admit to the crime, in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. A thief. Kill him. Price for your crime. It's three of your fingers. No, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. I will carry out the sentence. This is injustice, my lord! <laughs> that was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? As Maester, I cannot support mutilation. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord.
Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Do it like you mean it! Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Whomever's not chosen should feel no shame. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This... this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. There must be other options. We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it. 
thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no House Forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the iron wood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore! Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed! Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your Sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My Lord, you have named your Sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is... volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone.